Hooray, I made it. Finally. <coughs> Sorry about that. Slight delay. Facebook wasn't letting me go live. The screen was the wrong way round. All sorts happening. But we're here now. <laughs> Hi, Carol. Hi, Sam. Oh, I've been doing my comments as well. And I know what you're saying about me. I'm sure there's a better way of doing this, but never mind. We're there. So, thank you for joining me, albeit seven minutes late, later than planned. But I am here now. So, I thought, as I had a delivery, literally half an hour ago, of a new product <coughs> from the new catalogue, I thought I would show you what I do when I receive new products um, because I find it really helps and hopefully there might be some hints and tips on what I do that's useful to you. If not, <laughs> give me five minutes or so and then I'll start actually doing some crafting. So what I always do, uh, well I, no, I say always, what I do most of the time when I get a new stamp set. So this one here, Jar of Flowers, has literally arrived in the box um, just over half an hour ago. So the first thing I do when I get a new stamp set or a new product, whether it's dies or punches, is to actually try everything out. So I'll do this for two reasons. One is because often it looks very different. Hi Isabel. Hi Molly. Um, it looks very different sometimes the image that you see there to the image that is subsequently stamped. And it is a bit of set of um, Sam and funnily enough I wasn't quite sure about this to start with. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Um, also means that if there's any errors i mean occasionally we do have some stamps that are not fully um formed and therefore have a little bit where it's not stamping properly and the best thing to do is if you try them all out then you know straight away whether you know they're a hundred percent which they should be very good carol very good <laughs> that's a good idea I think I might have to introduce that into my um, card making then. Um, and the other thing is with the punches in particular. So this is the matching punch. So this is called, as you can see, Jar of Flowers. And it's exactly what it says on the tin. And this punch is called the Jar Punch. And it punches out the shape of the jar, as you can see. Now, the first thing you'll notice is the size of those and the size of the jar is not the same. If you're watching, um, I think it was yesterday, where I was talking about these are all of the image. Hello, Jane. And um, these are shown at 75% of the real size. So if I open it up, you'll see that they are quite a bit bigger than they are on the outside okay so don't it's quite deceiving when you look at that and then open it up to you know to see something completely um you know different scale and the reason i open and test the punches is i have known customers of mine to um, order punches and then message me a year later to say i've just opened my punch and it's not working now, it's really difficult for me to contact Stamping Up and say, my customer's had this for a year and it's not working. Let me just move my phone. There we go. Sorry. So, yes, hi Tracy. Ah, oh, hi Nicole. It's really difficult for me to ring Stamping Up and say, my customer's just opened this punch and it's not working. And they'll say, okay, what's the order number? And um, when did they order it? Oh, yeah, 12 months ago. So, the thing is, our products are covered by a warranty. 
but the warranty is obviously against any defective items on arrival <laughs> thank you sam and um how could you prove that i mean it probably was defective it, if it was a punch that wasn't working but it's very difficult to prove now stamping up are very very good our customer service is excellent but i never like to take advantage of the fact that they are so good so please when you do get in particular punches um just punch it out straight away i have to say that what i have been doing if i've taken orders that have come to me and then been delivered i make a point of opening the punch and punching it out and then i write on the back checked and then i know from my own personal point of view that that punch was working when it left me okay so obviously i can't do that for any orders that have gone straight to you as a customer okay so just a a note there really okay so i've grabbed some um blends in different flower colors so let me show you what i do so i have put one on a block ready so we have oops sliding everywhere four sets of flowers as you can see a set of stalks a little um lid for the jar and then we have the jar and a small jar and a stripe now these stamps are reversible stamps which means you can stamp you can ink up either side of the stamp which you'll see in a minute when we give it a go the nice thing about these in our new packages is that you can take them straight out and put them onto the um, stamp case so you don't have those little packets of um, these acrylic um, sheets that flip around everywhere and it's very easy to flip a stamp off if you're not careful now these are super sticky um, because they're brand new so I don't know why I'm putting them on here because I'm going to stamp them in a second but hey ho let's just do it that one that one and then there's the little lid okay so I don't need these I'll keep these actually for some that I've got missing in my stamp sets so what I do is I take a piece of card, I take a nice um, deep coloured ink, I try not to make it pink or red because um, otherwise that tends to stain rather badly. Um, so I'm going to use my favourite which is early espresso, sorry I know that's a little bit out of the way isn't it, I'm hoping you can see that in its entirety so I'm going to stamp it up ink it up rather and stamp it now I haven't got a mat underneath here oh I like that you see it looks so different to just when it's um, on the on the stamp on the case if that makes any sense so I'm just going to ink all of these up and then what you can do is you could keep this um, in with the stamps if you wanted to. Or if you like indexing your stamps. Hi Brenda, just got your message, thank you. If you like indexing your stamps, what you could do is always stamp it onto an A5 piece of card. And then just make a file with those um, pieces in it write the name down so you know which which one it is so i literally stamp every single one nice to see you brenda well nice to have you here i had to come up with something else because i always say nice to see you don't i okay that's really cute actually they're all really nice what am i which one haven't i done this tall one the tulipy one so this is jar of flowers 
and it's available in its own right and it's available as a bundle with the punch so we have a go with that so I'm literally just stamping these to show you what I do when I get a new stamp set the other good thing about doing that is because you've stamped it oh okay well done Sam so at, Sam does hers on a full scrap piece of paper or card and files it the other thing because you're stamping and inking it up and cleaning it it means that that stamp is then ready for next time so you sort of primed it ready for want of a better description um, because sometimes there is obviously a um, a coating on it to help them release um, the stamps so those are the stalks those are rather nice aren't they so I think you could stamp those in green as well um, so they'll be ready you know ready to go okay so this is the jar so this is a reversible one so if I stamp that like so remember to clean it in between and then if I turn it over on the block that should fill that jar so I'm not going to do it in brown otherwise I won't see what I'm doing so I have got seaside spray at the ready I don't know whether this will be too dark or not oops no I think it'll be all right so I haven't wiped this so this first ink might be rather strange so all I'm doing is looking through it lining it up so this saves having a separate stamp for your infill okay so that's filled the whole thing and then let's do so I've just got another idea which is to stamp the larger one with a small infill does that make sense Your one I'll leave that one on the block because I'm going to use that Let's grab this one so this is the small one so let's do the outline first like so and then if I turn this one over let's wipe that so what I was thinking is that this should fit in there as a part full um, jar. Let's put it on that one. There we go. A little bit out of line there, but it'll do for our purposes. And then what do we have left? Which I'll leave that one out. Um leave it out that way round so I've got my little jar lid Ooh. it's stuck to the work surface just clean that off so this jar lid would look quite nice embossed wouldn't it in gold or something there we go there's that one and then last but not least, we've got the stripes. I haven't really seen what people have done with the stripes, really. Um, can I get it on there? Just. There we go. Let me just lay that down again. So if you want to make sure it's nice and straight, just allow the, the stamp to drop onto the table. And let's see. I always think of um, barber's poles when I see stripes. If anybody else is the same. Okay. Not brilliantly stamped because it was off the end of the um, block. Okay. So that's how they stamp out. So they are really nice. So what I'm looking for is, oh, sorry if I knocked my camera 
this is quite high this is quite low so if I'm putting it on a small card I just need to be aware of that sort of total height because I was thinking of using note cards today um, so I just need to be aware of that so what I might do is stamp the flowers first and then the jar underneath because it doesn't matter if the jar goes off the bottom but it does matter if the, the flowers go off the top and one more thing I was going to do is just stamp and punch out okay so let's just grab that jar and the reason why I stamp and punch is just so I can see how it's going to line up hello Maureen Thanks for joining us this afternoon. So I'm just going to stamp that down there. And I know that the, the punch is that way round. Hello Tracy. I hope you're well. And I hope Maureen is well. So here is my punch. So I'm going to unlock it. It's got bit of spring about it that's for sure and then it just gives me an idea to see how that's going to fit in so I know it's got this little notches at the top for the jar and so that's quite easy to line up actually there we go so yes I like that nice solid um, easy to use punch okay now what I could also do is keep that in my um, pack so I know um, what the punch shape looks like uh, that would also be nice with some patterned paper to make it look like a little vase that's the other thing you could do with it okay so having opened my stamp set I've stamped all of these then what I would do is I would write on the top what the stamp set is I might write the number and the price for my own uh, benefit it does also mean if I'm in a class or I go to coffee and card as well as having the cover um, to show people I can pass it round so they can see um, it's much easier to see the printed form um, I'm a great believer in that even things like books I can't read books very well online I have to have them in my hand and turn the pages okay so let's see what we can do with this so I'm thinking um, I'm just going to keep it very simple so I did a lot of stamping well not a lot of stamping I did a lot yesterday so I'm a little bit frazzled today and I am, oh hi Moretta, and I'm getting ready for my class in a box, which launches tomorrow. So um, I'm sort of here, there and everywhere. So what I'm going to do is, I like these sunflowers. So I'm going to stamp those. Um, you remember I was saying I'm going to start this at the top, because it doesn't matter if the jar goes off the bottom. Which I know sounds really strange, but... I've sort of learned from um, experience. <laughs> okay, lovely to have you join us, Moretta. Thank you. So, inking that up, I'm using early espresso, which goes particularly well with sunflowers, doesn't it, of course. So, I haven't got my grid paper undone here, so I'm just going to hope it looks roughly straight. That's so pretty. Okay, wipe that down. Right, now I'm going to pop the jar. Oh, that was lucky. So there wasn't much room for, for manoeuvre, was there? I'm going to, I think I'm going to do the jar in early espresso and then put some of that um, blue in for the water. You could just pencil it in. Um, use your blends pen to put it in so I'm just putting that on just so that it's just touching the flowers Ooh. there we go like so and all of this shading is done for you um, 
which is really nice and easy. So you could, if you wanted to, use a blends pen um, and just put in a little bit of water. Let's just see if I've got a light. What have I got? Dark and light. I've got a light balmy blue. Let me just see what that looks like. Okay, so I'll do one with this and I'll do one with the stamp. So you can see the difference. Um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I meant to do it halfway down. In mind, I've got a very full jar of water. <laughs> I know my secret's safe with you guys. I've got to do that now, really, haven't I? So I know Carol's at work watching us. Anybody else watching us from work, sneakily? So I could use those lines there, really, as a guideline, couldn't I? But I'm here now. So just working in from the sides to get that sort of line where I want it to look like it's the light of the jar. Like so. There we go. Okay, uh, let's do some colouring in. And these are nice and easy because they are sunflowers. So I picked out some yellows. What have we got? Dark and light daffodil delight. Um, so we've got one, two, three sunflowers. I have no idea what that is. I need to look in the book and see what they've coloured that as. Greenery, and there's another little flower in there. But I think I'm going to keep these. Hi Sarah, um, roughly the same um, colours. So I'm just using my blends pen, the darker one, with that... Um, feathering motion so it's slightly lighter on the inside like so I'm going to do the same here uh, what have I got this is going that way it's lovely Sarah and it has a matching punch for the jar so and I think well, I'll tell you when I've coloured in one of the others. This feels like quite easy to colour because it's not a huge area that you've got to worry about. You could also stamp it on some yellow card, couldn't you? And then cut that out. I'm going to do this one yellow as well. And I have no idea what that is. I'm going to do it yellow too. If anybody looks in the catalogue and tells me what that little bit looks like, it should be. Let me know. Sam? <laughs> right. Oh my goodness. Very relaxed. You might fall asleep, Maretta. We'll have to give you a nudge later. Right, let's yeah, so use the light yellow then. Actually, I'll just use the larger tip. Just very quickly going over those. It's not a complicated one to colour, it feels like. Oh, thanks, Sarah. So it's called Jar of Flowers. I think it's quite early in the catalogue. We'll give you a nudge then, Moretta, if you fall asleep. That one in there so I'm really just doing that um, quite basic coloring I'm sure you could do a much better job than me everybody she's got it 
Could you give me the prices as well, Sarah? Because I've completely forgotten what they are. So just tell me if they've done that as a flower or as a middle. Hello, Heather. Lovely to have you join us today. Oh, okay. Yes. So more of a flower than a than a middle, maybe. Okay. Oh, I see. Yes, you could be right. With those leaves and that middle. Okay, I'm just scribbling the green over these little bits here. Oh, okay, they've done it blue, so heather-like, yeah. Thistle like rather. Okay, so I'm literally just scribbling over there. Quite effective, isn't it? I want a bit of um, brown, so soft suede or something. It's one colour I didn't pick up. Sorry. What's this one? I've got dark crumb cake. That will do. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Oh, you're all on the ball. £21 for the stamp set. And how much is the bundle, please? Oh, you're all at it. I'm very impressed that you all got your catalogues to hand. 10 out of 10. No, I'll just leave that bit there. There we go. Bundle is 34. Thank you. There we are. Brill. So 21 for the stamp set. 34 if you buy that and the punch together. Um, right, I'm thinking two things. One, I'm thinking I'd like a little bit of ribbon on there. And I happened to tie this bow from our new bumblebee the other day. And it, I just spotted it on my desk. So I'm just going to shorten that a little bit. Pop that on there. And I think I'm going to put, really want to put a sentiment across there. So, and then let me see how I'm going to layer that up. I'm thinking I've got early espresso there. And then that's going to go onto the note card. Do we think that works? Now, if you'd um, stamped this and you weren't very happy with it, of course, you could use a cutout um, vase. Um, cut out one of these. So, for example, if I'd done that and decided it was actually too much. Oops, Daisy. I could layer that onto there. I'm going to leave this one with the water, even if it has got rather a lot of water. So, let me see. Now, I've seen a small sentiment here somewhere. This one, I used, I used yesterday, I think. Yes, so yesterday I had this one sending you a paper hug. And I was thinking you could do like a little label to fit on there. They use, oh, a Bible for a shake. Oh, well, that's unusual, isn't it? So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is just um, stamp this and cut it out and pop it on top. So I'm actually liking this set more than I thought I would. <laughs> I knew this would be good for coffee and card, to be honest. Um, just because you've got four different tops. So when we do get back to being at coffee and card, this is probably going to be the first one that we do. I'm just going to cut this straight. Oh, the yes, okay, so you can buy, uh, which I have got, but I haven't got out of the box, um, this mason jar as a little um, 3D item. And you could put 
um, make it into a shaker card you could put little things in it with like a little dome like we have with the snow domes so um, I was thinking that would fit on there you see Not very straight, is it? I'm not sure if I can get that any straighter. Let me just try. I should have done it with my trimmer. Let me see if I can improve on that. If not, I might cut another one. Um... It's amazing how the slightest bit can make a difference, isn't it? Mm, it's also a bit too short to cut. Let's have a look. There we go. <laughs> There'll be nothing left of this in a minute, guys. <laughs> Hello, Monica. Thank you for joining us. What have I done here? Yes, it's not quite enough to cut it, is it? It's a little bit better. It will do for my purpose. Okay, now I'm thinking the other thing you could do. Yes, it's the new stamping up trimmer, Sarah. Can't remember if you had the old one. I think, yes, I think you did have the old one. So um, you could cut out, you could stamp and cut out some um, these sunflowers and 3D them on top. What would be even easier would be to cut out the middles and put those in, wouldn't it? Hi, Emery. Thank you for joining us from far, far away. Oh, I want to say Ontario. Have I got that right? Okay. Right, let's load that one onto there. It's getting gloomier and gloomier out there here, everybody. I don't know what it's like where everybody else is. Not actually raining, though. Whoops. go yes funny enough Amory it wasn't my first choice it didn't go on my first pre-order at all but um, I just think these images are gorgeous for coloring in especially for beginners I think this would be a good beginner set I know it hasn't got any sentiments that's the only thing but you could do cards without sentiments and it would work for weddings, get well, thinking of you, birthdays, wouldn't it? And it's much bigger, as I say, than it shows on the um, thing. So I think I'm going to do that on there and pop this on with some glue dots. So here's the glue dot. One. Oops. So this is the new Bumblebee Gingham Ribbon. I do love Gingham Ribbon. I have a thing about it. I don't know why. Now I know this is not quite the right colour. So what I would have done if I had the Bumblebee pens was I would have done my sunflowers in that coordinating colour. Or use Daffodil to Light Ribbon, one or the other. So, just going to pop this on some dimensionals, my little label, like so. Five o'clock in the morning. My goodness, Minda, what are you doing at this time? Is this normal for you? <laughs> goodness me. There we go. Sending you a paper hug. Um, right, let me find my note cards, which I know are here because I put them out ready. So, 
also for you and marie and minda and anybody else who arrived sort of just recently i was just showing everybody what i do when i receive a new stamp set so i take the stamps and i stamp them all out so a it gives me an idea of what they look like actually stamped and it gives me a chance to see what things will go together. I also use the punch so I can test the punch and know that that works. And then for those of you that like to have indexes, you could pop the name on there and keep this in a separate um, index file. Save you looking through all your hundreds of stamp sets. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that onto my note card and envelope. Let's just do that there. Whoops. So the note card is three and a half inches by five inches folded. Ah, oh, thank you, Minda. Um, the espresso layer is three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And then the whisper white that I've stamped on is three by four and a half inches. So it's basically um, half an inch between each layer. And obviously that gives me a quarter of an inch border. Well, nothing wrong with that, Anne-Marie. <laughs> You can just photocopy, it doesn't matter. But I find that if you have stamped it, hi Catherine, then you get a better feel for what it looks like. And sometimes I've been really surprised. So I've had a stamp set and I thought, oh, I'm not really sure about it. But when I've stamped it, it comes to life. You can see more in it. You can see the detail. Whereas sometimes just on the index or in the catalogue, you can't see that. And also then you've primed your stamps ready so that when you come to, um, you know, get stamping, it's ready to go. Hello, Linda. Thank you for joining us. And Catherine's joined us as well from the States. Um, so there's my first card. So I just basically stamped the flowers first for the height, pop the jar underneath. I used a blends pen for the colouring. But what I'm going to do with this one is use the other side of the stamp and then just colour those in really easily with just light and dark daffodil to light and a little bit of green. Oh, priming your stamps. So when you get a stamp straight from the packet, very often it has a coating on it. Um, and the coating is the release agent. And this applies to both red rubber and photopolymer. <laughs> Hello, Linda, Lindy Lou. I can say that, can't I? Um, so it has a sort of film on it. So by stamping it out on a piece of card ready as a sample, you're already priming that stamp because you ink it up, stamp it, and then wipe it off with your chamois. Um, and then that's ready, good and ready to go. So there is my first card from the box. Obviously, I can stamp the flowers on the inside. I'm not going to colour those in, but let me just do that. And also put the flowers on the envelope, because we have no naked envelopes in our house. Um, let me just grab a piece of grid paper to stamp onto. Now, I did um, an evening session yesterday, um, which seemed to be really popular because I don't normally do um, stamping in the evenings. So I think what I'm going to do is from next week is I'm going to make this Thursday afternoon session an evening session. Um, so that more people can catch me live rather than on catch up. So I'm just going to pop these flowers right on the bottom here. So if you think that's a good idea, do let me know. And I'll, I'll update the um, information on my Facebook page. So it'll be um, 7 o'clock I did it yesterday. There we go. 
and then let's pop some flowers on the envelope as well. Sorry, that's a little bit in shade for you guys. Okay, so there we go. Now this would make a really nice set, wouldn't it? Um, you could stamp one of each design, like so, one of each of those flowers in the jars, and then um, put them onto the note cards and then either bundle them up together and um, add some ribbon or you could um, put them into a, a box now here's a little sneak peek because this is something that's going to be in my class in a box that releases tomorrow and I've just turned this into, I've just done some stamping on this and popped it onto the box. So you get the box as part of your kit. But what you could do is you could do a whole stack of those in the box, couldn't you? And stamp it with the same. You could make a box with DSP, but my class in the box is designed for people just to literally take out of the box and do. But yes, you could. And in fact, no, it wouldn't go that way. So you could have you know, half a dozen in there, stamp this around the outside for the box, put this ribbon around it, and wouldn't that look fab? Okay, so ignore the fact that that's got something different on it, because that's for my class in a box. Okay, and that's using the stamping up boxes that come, come like that. So there's my first one. Let me get cracking and do my second one, otherwise um, you'll be leaving me, you'll, you'll be bored. So, let's do a different stamp this time. I can't decide which one to do. I'm going to do these because it's got tulips and I happen to have got a red. But you could use um, any colour really, couldn't you? Just fits on there. Oh, just. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the flowers first and then not worry if the jar goes across the bottom. So I'm just inking that up well with my early espresso. And then I'm going to put this, try and get it straight. Try and get it in the middle on either side, roughly. Press it on there. Oh, I didn't do the um, stalks. <laughs> did I? I've just seen that. I just realised. I did water, but I didn't put the stalks inside. Oh, I better put the stalks inside this one. Gosh, I got carried away with my jar. Nobody told me. Right, let me find my jar again. So can you see, this jar is going to come off the bottom. Alright, now if I'd done what I would have normally done, which is start from here, my flowers would have gone off the top. It's also not particularly straight, but I think we'll get away with it. So, I'm going to stamp that, like so. There we are. It stamps really nicely. It's very, um, you know, I wasn't being particularly accurate about that placement. It's obviously very forgiving. And I like forgiving stamps. Right, this time I'm adding the stalks in. <laughs> oh dear, I can't believe nobody noticed that. So, that's perfect because they're just going to come up there. Now, am I going to do them green? Or am I going to do them espresso and colour in with a bit of green? Let me have a look. I'm just going to stamp one and one, and then we can decide. We can decide between us. So 
So this is, it's actually pear pizzazz, so it's quite light. Okay. And this is true, it doesn't look wrong, although I have, you know, put the water in to make it look like water, but I suppose it could be a light blue, a light blue vase. I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, what do you think, guys? Do we think it needs to be? I think it probably does, as I've got this in for the stalks there. So I'm going with that. Early espresso. Now, because this is on delay, I bet you'll all write to me and say, No, I meant the green. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. I knew somebody would say that. There we go. And see how forgiving that is. It's not, I haven't lined it up or anything. Hey ho. Right, so what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to use the other side of that inner to put the water down there. Yeah, I'm really liking this set, guys. I think if I'd done those in peppers, as I might have got away with it. But anyway. So I've got the reverse side of that little stamp. See what it's going to look like over there. Yes. And I might actually stamp it off once, lightly. Let me re-ink that. One... And then two. And as long as my stalks are in water, it's fine, isn't it? There we go. Yeah, that's true. Yes, you could put ribbon across the middle if you if there was a gap or anything. Or ribbon across here. Quite right. So, um, let me carve up those up. Oh, my pet pizzazz has fallen down. So I'm just going to do this fairly quickly because um, you've seen colouring in many a time. So I'm using that um, brush motion away from the bottom up where it gets thinner. And then I'm going to do these bits here. Now you've just got to work out what bit is greenery and what isn't. Do, 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 do. Those are all flowers I think in there. There's a few stalks. So I'm going to do this one um, red. I think I've got, have I got Poppy? Yeah, I've got Poppy Parade. And I'm pretty sure I've got a red. Um, um, base card that I could use. There we go. Right. Let's pop some Poppy onto these flowers. Could really do with both poppy colours to be honest. But if you were a beginner crafter, this would be quite an easy one because you wouldn't necessarily need specialist equipment. You know, if you've got felt tip pens, you might be able to colour those in for sure. You could also use watercolour pencils. You could, um, as a more experienced crafter, you could emboss this as well, couldn't you, in white on a darker, um, slightly darker background or on some patterned paper. That would look nice too. Or indeed silver or gold. Okay. So... 
just popping those in. I'm going to do a different colour for those, I think. Hi Claire, thanks for joining us. So let's see. So thanks to those of you that have been visiting my online shop and grabbing a bargain. I'm going to do these yellow. I think I'll do the other one's pale blue, I think. Because they're almost sort of like, well, not really Delphi Gims, are they? I don't know why I say that, because it, it sounds like I know what I'm talking about. There we go. And a little bit of blue. So really um, straightforward. This is light balmy blue. and it's quite a soft feel to this stamp set so you can be quite um, natural if that's the right word yeah it's a lovely set Claire so I literally got it out of the box showing everybody what I do when I get a new stamp set so you can if you want to you can watch that go back and watch that after it's called Jar of Flowers. Not really surprising, is it? There we go. So quite a different look to this one, isn't it? I think, so the difference here is we've got stalks makes it look a lot longer, doesn't it, with the stalks. And obviously this bit is quite a bit taller as well. And you could put um, buttons in those, that would look quite cute. Another idea. Um, okay, so let's layer that up and see what we're going to do about a sentiment. So that's the set, Claire, Jar of Flowers. And it's a reversible set. So this stamp here, you can turn it over and fill it in, which is what I've done here. So I stamped the large jar and then I turned over the smaller one and filled it in. So those are the images there. But you could make a set of four, couldn't you, really easily. Um, or eight. Right, let me see what I've got. I'm just wondering. Um, right. So I could pick up, I've got Poppy here, that looks quite, quite nice, oh I have, so you have to tell me which ones you like, that's granny apple green you'll have to say it because I can't see your um, if I say thumbs up I can't see if anybody's put any thumbs up so poppy or granny apple I have also got daffodil I think that's too light I am going to make add a little bit dark daffodil actually to these while you're all deciding which colour I should do so Brenda says Poppy thank you Brenda Molly says Granny Apple okay one each for the moment Claire says Poppy. Right, Poppy it is. <laughs> Thank 
you. It does look nice and bright actually on the poppy, doesn't it? And I could go back in and add more um, depth of colour to that if I wanted to. I haven't got the dark poppy to hand, so I won't do that for the minute. So I could put um, a ribbon in there. Um, wonder what ribbons, what else I have to hand. Just that's completely wrong, isn't it? If I had poppy, that would go nicely. Or if I had some natural twine, like I used yesterday. I just happen to have some on my windowsill, like you do. You could actually wrap that right the way round, couldn't you? Or do one of my pretend bows like I did yesterday. This one has obviously got unraveled somehow. So let's just grab a chunk. thing I love about this linen thread is it goes forever <laughs> it will indeed I, I think either color would have worked or um, early espresso would have worked hi Janice as well wouldn't it um, let's have a look. I don't think I will but that would work as well that makes it quite striking doesn't it it's amazing what difference the backgrounds can make um, I always um, uh, on the side of make it darker behind because that will make it pop okay so I'm just going to do my pretend let's do it on two fingers my pretend bow so I'm just going to wrap that round I've actually got this doubled up like so pull it together and then just wrap that bit round and tie it to the bit that was left over. So this is going by again. There we are. Yeah, that looks quite nice, doesn't that? That will do the job. So I'm just going to pull that tightly, trim the ends off. There we go. And I'm going to pop that on there. Now I could um, cut into those, but I think I'm going to leave it as a bow, like so. So let's layer that one up. And I'm quite tempted to um, not put a sentiment on. It'd be quite nice with the sentiment down the side, but I just think I'm going to leave that one because I, I like the fact you can see those. I don't want to really cover those up. So, find my note cards and envelopes again. Here they are. I'm going to, I am going to stamp the inside and the envelope again. And then we've got a really nice, um, well, I think it's a really nice, sweet little card. With not, I mean, I know I've talked a lot, so this is an hour and I've done two cards. But to be fair, um, the first 20 minutes was just talking about um, what I do with my, new, with my new stamps. So, I suppose I'll do this. I could do one without talking and I could time it. <laughs> and then tell you how long it took. All right, let's put this together. Three. So if I had a poppy parade ribbon, I might well have used that. But actually I quite like the sort of um, plainness of that. I'm just hunting my glue dots. Here they are. Okay. 
Nice to see you, Janice. I hope you're keeping well. There we go. Just going to pop that onto there, like so. Perfect. And I'm just going to stamp that for the inside. I'm just stamping those flowers again. Just having them come off the bottom. Let me pop that back on. Oops. Thank you, Molly. So I think this is going to be, um, it's got to be one of the most popular sets from the new catalogue because it's good for beginners. You don't need a die cutting machine because it has got the um, punch. You can buy it without the punch as well. Um, all you'd need really potentially would be a sentiment set to go with that. But this would do birthdays, weddings, um, anniversaries, thinking of you, um, even sympathy. You could stamp it um, and heat emboss it on some dark coloured card. That would look really nice too. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> That is okay, Janice. What time is your YouTube live? Is that on today? If it is, we'll all hop over and watch if you want. <laughs> okay. So next week, my Thursday session is going to be in the evening here in the UK. Ooh. Oh, I see. I thought you were going to say you were going to Blackbirds to pick your strawberries. Go and shake them away, Beretta. Shake them away. Um, yes, yeah, so next week, um, thanks, Moretta. Take care now. Next week, my Thursday afternoon will become a Thursday evening session. Oh, very soon. What's your um, channel, Janice? And we can hop over and watch you if you like. Yes, Linda wants to know as well. <laughs> we do love to support each other. So many ideas. It's so lovely to share with people, isn't it? That's what it's all about. Don't keep it to yourself. Let's see if Janice replies or whether she's gone. Fingers crossed. She'll put it on here. If not, I guess we could go to YouTube and... Um, Search for Janice if she goes under her name. That is the only thing, isn't it? Okay, so let me clear the decks here. And I will photograph these. I don't think I photographed yesterday's ones, last night's ones, uh, which got thrown around. That's this one. Oh, okay, thank you, Janice. We'll come searching. See you in a minute. So, these are the ones I've done today with Jar of Flowers. If you were with me last night, this is what we made last night with Comfort and Hope. That's the stamp set. And using the backgrounds. Oh, thanks, Janice. And then on Monday, I used um, the papers, really, to do the work. Which were those two there. And some new dies. Which set do you love? The Comfort and Hope, Linda, this one. very much a Ruth set that isn't it okay so thank you so much for joining me um, if you want to go and hop and see Janice then please do let's all go and click on that link and see Janice see what she's up to and um, if you haven't visited my buy one get one free store and you're in the UK 
then feel free to do so. I'm listing more products right the way up to the weekend because I have got um, a lot of older retired stuff as well as current retired. So if you're looking for something that's been not been available for a while, it's worth having a look. And um, you can check out from the shop and then just order from me by email what you would like. Oh yes, the elements are lovely. What you would like from the new catalogue and you get to choose that value for free. So there we go. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed what we've made out of the box. I have to say, when you can stamp that first time and get a decent card, I know that's a good stamp set. Sometimes we get stamp sets that you have to work on to make them look good, if that makes any sense. And other stamp sets just do the work. And that is one of those. That's what it says on the tin. Or on the stamp case. Okay, thank you so much. I've really witted on far too long today. Thank you so much for joining me. Look after yourselves. Look after each other, won't you? And uh, take care. Keep crafting. Thank you. Bye-bye.